of people come to the way of most honored one and most glorified one. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Divine Love Hubba Rasul, a new Islamic TV series in which we explore topics related to spirituality, traditional Islam, meditation, secrets of the heart, secrets of the Holy Qur'an and the teachings from the life of Sayyidina Muhammad a symbol of our way and our path, the exemplar of faith, love, patience and good manners. We invite you to join us on the most extraordinary journey. Assalamu alaikum. We're talking about the energy and subjects of energy and the power of the Holy Sunnah. And one important that people ask is about nighttime. Because of the effect of the negative energy at night, it affects people's energy, it affects people's actual physicality, and it affects people's dreams. So many people say that they have attacks at night, they have uh, night terror, they have uh, horrific dreams and all sorts of attack. It means it's a time for us to understand that we're most vulnerable. That as soon as you're lying down and not defending yourself, we must know that there are many beings all around. This space we live in is not empty and anybody who wants proof of that that they look into an electron microscope. They took a cup of water, they looked inside that water with electron microscope and they found so many levels of creation living in that water. And when they looked at that creation again, they saw living things upon those living things. It means that there must be life everywhere. There must be positive energy and negative energy and alhamdulillah from Allah Shaykh Hisham's teaching for us which is all from Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Qurul Amri Minkum where Allah Azzawajal gave and wounded for Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to perfect mankind and that perfection running within the hands of Qurul Am and the perfected guides. What they taught for us is that from the realities of sleeping that when you are about to go to bed, that you go with wudu, that you wash before you're going to sleep, make sure your private parts are washed, then you go for your wudu, complete your wudu. And we talked before that pray the prayer of wudu, that you pray two cycles of wudu without speaking anything, and you are sealing your energy. So you wash, then show your washing, go pray your two rakahs, and seal yourself. At that time, you can recite four Surat al-Falaq, three Surat al-Ikhlas, Surat al-Nas and two Surat al-Ikhlas while blowing upon yourself that Qul A'udhu bi Rabbi al-Falaq, Qul A'udhu bi Rabbi al-Nas and putting that light upon yourself, Qudhu Allahu Ahad and asking Allah to protect you while you sleep and then when you're going into bed this is Surat to be covered that we talked before about the energy that when you expose your body, you're exposing your body to every type of energy. That all these beings, they want to touch that human flesh. They want the access to that energy that they don't have access to. By keeping yourself covered with a long pajama for men and a t-shirt for them to cover the hawa and the places of their body that should not be exposed. By having Ayatul Qur'an upon themselves they're asking from Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ayat al Kursi, the names of pious people, and having good things around their home. As soon as they lie down, they realize that when they're going to sleep, they're asking to be protected, that to keep your head covered. Because this is the time where most attacks are going to come, as in the sleep. So that your sunnah is while you're awake as well as while you're sleeping. So it means that you try to get a hand that you can pull over and doesn't keep popping off as you're sleeping. So they have a toot or ski hat or knitted hat or whatever you can put over your head so that your head is, is secure and your head which is your crown of creation is guarded. 
if you look back at uh, 40 years ago or 50 years ago, all the pictures of sleeping, everybody slept covered. They have little children pictures and cartoons, but they had long hands. They had a sleep hat, they had a little tail, they had long underwears and, or long johns that covered the entire body because they understood that reality. It's only a new concept where people sleep without any clothing and they go into the bed and therefore they have many attacks, many different jinn attacks, many different uh, nightmares and difficulties that are coming at night. Asalaamu Alaikum everyone, my name is Bilal Chima. Uh, I would like to congratulate Habib Rasool TV show on Joy TV. Alhamdulillah, this is an opportunity to spread the peaceful message of Islam right across the country. We as Muslims are proud to be a part of the fabric of Canadian society. We look forward to sharing the peaceful message of Islam with the other Canadians. So the defense that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wrote for us was the perfection. That make your wudu, that pray your salat and wudu, recite the Holy Quran and put yourself, know that light upon yourself, and as soon as you go to sleep, make sure that you have something to cover your head. Then as you're sleeping, the get in the practice of sleeping on your backside. Because the importance is this is all about energy that Prophet Sallallahu was bringing for us. That the shayateen, they are scared of approaching insan from the front because of the energy to the heart. So the heart is a tremendous protection for human beings. Because this is where the light of the Divine is emanating. All the zikr, the prayers, the every good action, charity, everything is enforcing the light within the heart of the being. So the heart is the force field. When you understand that then as you sleep on your back, you realize there's a shield that your heart is emitting over you and defending you. As long as we, we keep that understanding that the heart is there to defend, then Prophet ﷺ described that when you're sleeping, sleep on your back most preferable. And if you have to move to your sides, then again this is based on energy. As soon as you sleep, then you go to your right side. When you sleep on your right side, you see again, your heart is making a shield of protection because your heart is up. It's good for the heart, it's good for the conditioning of the heart, it's not putting stress upon the heart and it provides a shield of energy that encompasses all your body. Then the disliked position is if you go now and roll over to your left side. As soon as you move to the left side, what happens is now your heart is in duress because your weight and your body is being pushed upon the heart, the shield of protection is not there. There's nothing now defending. So many people, and if they become sensitive to energy, they feel very uncomfortable energies if they begin to sleep on the left. The more you're aware of energy, the more you practice the energy, the more you understand this is all from the realities of Malaku. Came to perfect, but not necessarily the body. Because the body is going to be here for 60, 70 years and goes back into the grave. These teachings of the body were to perfect the soul, the inhabitant, the, the one, the precious one from paradise inside. It needs the body to understand these realities because it's the one suffering. What Prophet brought were the rules to save the soul inside. But the one who's jahad and doesn't understand, as soon as they sleep like this, where the soul is going to be attacked, the heart is going to be attacked, that insan comes under attack. Because always visualize there are thousands of ifrit. There are very few people that have the ability with their energy, with their salah, with their namaz that release a tremendous energy and that purifies that space. Most don't have that energy. And they barely can lift themselves in their salah and in their amal and in their actions. So it means that negative energy is everywhere. It comes through the television, it comes through the music, it comes through the windows. Even Grand Shaykh said at Makrib time, close your windows. Close the shades on your windows. 
Because the shaitan said, if you think you have a protection within your house, you put ayat of kursi, you have Quran and salawat playing in the house, you've made and fortified your house like a fortress. So the shaitans won't be coming because they come active at Maghrib time. So even the kids were watching these cartoons. What's the name of the cartoon where the gargoyle came off of the building? At five o'clock, the gargoyles were coming alive. So you see, look, 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 that's what Baba teaching. But at Maghrib time, these shayateen become active. And when they're coming active, means they're going into the house of believers. When you leave the window open, as if an opening for them that inviting them. By closing it's a hijab that they don't have permission to break that hijab. And they teach you in the movies all of the satanic rules. So one of the most popular movies now, Vampires and Young Girls. As soon as a vampire wants to come into the house they're teaching you even their adab. That the vampire wants to come into the house and the girl says, well come on in. He says, no you have to invite me. He's teaching what Prophet wrote 1500 years ago. That we are under the power of A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. So it means that shaitan knows that, no, no, you're protected. You have to break your A'udhu and invite me into your home. And the teaching of the movie. So when you see that vampire, you have to invite him in. And the greatness of Prophet of what he brought to us, no, A'udhu Billah, live your life in A'udhu. The seeking refuge from anything satanic so that you will be under the rahmah of Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. <laughs>
even the windows to be closed at night so that evilness doesn't come in. And if even you have all your protection, as soon as you open your windows from a distance, they have no permission to come in, but their nazar from a distance can strike through the windows. So they're like shooting arrows. They don't have permission to come in, but from a distance, they can look through the window and begin to shoot all sorts of difficulty. You feel that difficulty and then you feel the arguments beginning into the home and every type of fitna and anger and aggression begin to start at the Maghrib time. So with all of what Prophet brought and what the Qulul Am, the real Qulul Am, not only translate hadith but they understood the reality of the hadith and they're able to talk to you in a very basic simple English. That's the miraculous nature of the Turus. They can take very complicated realities and talk in a way that six-year-old kids, five-year-old kids can understand. So it means to protect the home from negative energy. Then when you're sleeping, you realize that if you go to your left, you're going to put a dress upon the heart. It's not going to have a shield of protection. And the worst position is if you sleep on your stomach. Because that's a complete inviting of negative energies. As soon as you sleep on your stomach, your most vulnerable part of your body is exposed to the air. And every type of negativity is entering in now through that rear end. And as they enter in, they increase the negativity, increase the anger, increase every horrific characteristic into insan is coming through the nighttime visitations. And what, again, the greatness of Prophet was to teach about these energies and teach about the reality of jinn. So when you're watching all the YouTube and all the television shows that the children are watching, alien abductions, alien abductions, what alien abductions? These are the jinn. They're not coming with a UFO ship from somewhere else. They're right there in your room. That's why they're molesting you and abusing you and beating you. And everything that Prophet Sassim brought was this. There's no aliens with a ship coming from a distant planet. They're right there in the room. Protect yourself against the unseen creations of Allah And that protection is to wash, to keep the wudu, to keep yourself closed when you're sleeping. Sleep on your back, sleep on your right, and constantly be in the practice of making salawat on Prophet So when you feel an attack coming, you feel something that has grabbed you or something trying to grab you, it's a second nature to call upon Prophet by saying Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad, it has in it the zikr of Allah Zawajjah and the praise of home Prophet So you've got the double protection. You have Allah Zawajjah's attention with His most beloved. If you get the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad upon you and Prophet comes to give back a greeting and salutation, that is when the haqq comes, every falsehood has to leave that environment and that room. But it has to be second nature, otherwise people say that they're under attack all night long and it's not coming to them, what to say? And that's why then only will come into our life. No, we in the, in the practice of constant durood al sharif because that is praising upon Allah and mentioning His most beloved creation. Allah loves dearly Sayyidina Muhammad By making it a second nature then you're constantly in durood al sharif so then keeping the head covered, sleeping on the back, not sleeping upon the stomach, for every negativity enters into the body. Pray that Allah Azawajal give us more and more understanding of malakut and what they call energy and these realities. Especially with the world of the unseen that people are calling alien and alien abduction. No, no, this is the world of the jinn. They're all around for us to become familiar and to understand that creation is a part of faith to believe in the unseen, to believe in angels, to believe in these things from malakut and from a dimension that we don't see. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli wa nusallimu ala rasulihi al-kareem. Amma ba'du fa'a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. لقد جاءكم من الله نور وكتاب مبين صدق الله ومولانا العظيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا 
و مولانا محمد مبارک وسلم وسلی علی صلاتم وسلام علی کیا رسول اللہ صلاتم وسلام علی کیا حبیب اللہ حب رسول ٹی وی دیکھنے والے پروگرام دیکھنے والوں کو سننے والوں کو نمانی بھائی کا محبت برا اسلام قبول ہو آج ہم نبی اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے ملاد کے متعلق اپنی معروضات پیش کریں گے میرے عزیز و ملاد پیدا ہونے کو کہتے ہیں ملاد النبی نبی پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے پیدا ہونے کا تذکرہ یعنی نظور علیہ السلاۃ والسلام کس طرح پیدا ہوئے کیا کیا معجزات ظاہر ہوئے اور کتنی برکات ہوئی نبی پاک کے آنے سے اللہ تبارک تعالیٰ نے کتنی رحمتیں نازل فرمائیں ملا شیف جو مناتے ہیں منا شیف جو کہتے ہیں منا شیف کے بارے میں جو تذکرہ ہوتا ہے بیانات ہوتے ہیں میرے عزیز و مقصد صرف یہی ہے کہ ہم اپنی پوت کو اپنے بھائیوں کو بہنوں کو نبی پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی شان کی اہمیت بیان کریں اگر ہم ان کا تذکرہ کریں گے ہمارے بچوں کے دلوں میں جائے گا کہ ہمارے نبی پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کا میلاد کیسے ہوا ان کے والد کا نام عبداللہ تھا ماں کا نام آمینہ تھا دادا کا نام عبد المطلب تھا اسی طریقے سے چلتا رہے گا سلسلہ میرے عزیزوں کے ان کی جو بھی نصب نامہ ہے وہ بتانے سے بچوں کو بھی پتہ چلے گا اور نبی پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کا میلاد برکت کی چیز ہے میلاد منانا چاہیے اور میلاد کے اندر نعت خانی ہونی چاہیے میلاد کے اندر درود و سلام ہونا چاہیے نبی پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے فرمان بیان کی کرنے چاہیے اور نبی پاک کی جو معجزات ہیں ان کا تذکرہ کرنا چاہیے نبی پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کا میلاد اللہ تبارک تعالیٰ خود فرماتا ہے لکا جا اکم من اللہ نور و کتاب بین میں نے تمہارے پاس ایک نور بھیجا یعنی اللہ تبارک تعالیٰ نے اپنے محبوب کو بھیجا جو نور اعلیٰ نور ہے اور ایک کتاب مبین بھیجی تو اللہ تعالیٰ خود ظاہر کہتا ہے اللہ تبارک تعالیٰ نے قرآن پاک میں بارہ دفعہ نبی اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کا تذکرہ فرمایا ہے ملا شریف پڑھنے والے جو ہوتے ہیں وہ متبع شریعت ہونے چاہیے اور کوئی ایسی خرافات نہیں ہونی چاہیے بلکہ عبادت کے نظریے سے اللہ کی رضا کے نظریے سے نبی پاک کا تذکرہ ہونا چاہیے جس گھر میں میرے عزیز ہو جس جگہ پہ نبی پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کا میلاد پڑھا جاتا ہے ان کا تذکرہ کیا جاتا ہے اللہ تبارک و تعالیٰ کی رحمت نادر ہوتی ہیں بزرگ دین نے فرمایا ہے کہ جس گھر میں اللہ کے نبی کا تذکرہ ہوتا ہے ان کی پیدائش کا تذکرہ ہوتا ہے اللہ تبارک و تعالیٰ ایک سال تک اس گھر میں رحمت کا می برساتی رہتی تو بڑی برکت کی چیز ہے اس لیے میرے عزیز و ہم یہ بتا بتانا چاہیے ہمیں کہ ہم ملا شریف جو ہے حضور علیہ صلاۃ والسلام کی پیدائش کون نہیں مانتا مسلمانوں کے علاوہ ہر انسان مانتا ہے کہ نبی اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم پیدا ہوئے نبی اکرم صلی اللہ ملاد جو مناتا ہے ملاد جو کہتا ہے ملاد کے بارے میں جو تذکرہ ہوتا ہے اس کا مطلب یہ ہے کہ نبی جو ہے وہ نبی جو ہے وہ اللہ کے رسول ہے اللہ اللہ ہے اور نبی جو ہے وہ اللہ کے رسول ہے چونکہ پیدا ہونے والا اللہ نہیں ہو سکتا اس لیے یہ بتایا جاتا ہے کہ نبی پاک پیدا ہوئے ان کی ماں کا نام یہ ان کے والد صاحب کا نام یہ اور ان کی دائیہ کا نام حضرت حلیمہ سعدیہ اور پھر کتنی برکات ہوئی اللہ تبارک و تعالیٰ ہمیں ملا شریف منانے کی ملا شریف کے اندر محفل میں جانے کی اللہ تعالیٰ توفیق عطا فرمائے اور جہاں جہاں ملا شریف ہوتے ہیں لوگ کرتے ہیں اللہ تبارک و تعالیٰ ان کو برکات سے نوازے و آخر داوانا ان الحمد للہ رب العالم Gifted and Safi Ramadan Mubarak Koli Records Ramadan Mubarak Nakul Muslim Shari Lazifiha Yunazil Quran Happy Ramadan To all Muslims Of the Quran descends In this holy man شهر رحمة أريحب بك يا شهر رمضان بك أرجي 
لقاء قرب ربي بك روحي وقلبي قدسا رمضان For you, my soul and heart has been purified. Sleep.